Okay, today it's going to be William's Hate for Harry. So I hope you like the video. If you like the video, please do like the video. And if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. And thank you very much for watching. Hey, I'm Mark, and this is my journey through tarot. Come on. So what do you think? Do you think William hates Harry? I mean, if you're going to trust what they say is coming out in this new book from Harry, you know, he's uh, taking a swing at him or something. Um, so, well, that's what we'll ask the cards. We'll find out, does William hate Harry? And maybe does Harry care? I don't think Willie, William, <laughs> Willie, William hates Harry. Well, and we're finding out now that's maybe a nickname for him. But, um... There's uh, their sides definitely being taken, and I just finished rereading uh, that book, Diana and her her true story, or in her own words, from Andrew uh, Morton from so many years ago, 1992 maybe or 97, and uh, the last couple of chapters really ring true as to what's happening now and even in the appendix at the end it talks about what would happen if diana would uh, divorce charles and that's very interesting so if you hadn't read that book go to the library check it out or buy it online or listen to it it's very interesting but right now let's find out what is going on here does william i mean just hate his brother because as i remember because i have lived through that it seems like um at the time William uh, was kind of the peacemaker uh, for Diana at the time and always was wanting her to calm down and not rock the boat. And now this is exactly uh, what uh, Harold, as we find out William has called him when he's mad, what ha Harry does is he's rocked the boat. But has he just revealed some truths? And I tell you what, that uh, book, Diana, in her own words, I think it is, I've got it right here. Hang on, I'm going to reach over and grab it. Am I out of the picture? I'm coming back. Hang on. Here it is. Okay, so this is uh, the book. Okay, Diana, her story, uh, and um, her true story. Fascinating, fascinating book. I lost the uh, dust jacket to it a long time ago, so that's why it just appears like that. So we're going to find out, does William hate Harry? Let's just uh, ask the cards brutally, but of course... I'm going to do a moment of meditation first. Okay. So William and Harry. You know, I got a comment recently that kind of... I wasn't sure what to think of it. Uh, someone says, you know, it's too long between when your video starts and when you start laying the cards down. And what I uh, relate to that person <laughs> is that um, all of this beforehand, this talking, uh, this kind of centering myself, this is part of the process. This is kind of how I get into the zone, I think, for when the, um, the read comes across. So there's not much I can do about it. I guess I could trim it out of the video, but that's not very real. So uh, why don't why not just look at the process and, and go along with it and get a cup of tea or, or settle in and uh, enjoy the video. I hope that's what most of you do anyway. So first questions here, I want to ask just bluntly, just a, a card or two, maybe three. Does William actually hate Harry? Let's do it one card and maybe more. Three of Pentacles. Three of Pentacles is building something for public display. Pentacles are, are not usually money. They're usually value. And uh, you know what? This, I think, is who William thinks he is. He's trying to build this monarchy for himself, building something for public display. Does he hate Harry? He's got a mission. This is what he's trying to do. And does it feel like Harry's interrupting that? The Ten of Cups is a is a nice card to get in this regard because cups are emotion and uh, passionate feelings and the Ten of Cups is like familial uh, value, okay, familial compassion, uh, generational. And um, 
So this kind of tells me so far a little bit of story. We're going to do one more card. So he's William is, is building something for public display. And in the mix is that familial, emotional compassion. And there's plenty of it. And then the last card for whether William hates Harry, right off the bat here, is this Ten of Pentacles. And no, he doesn't. The Ten of Pent Pentacles is, is value, is worth. And this is familial value, generational worth. And the Ten of Pentacles tells us that no, no, he doesn't hate Harry. Um... Um, does he hate what what Harry is doing right now? Yeah, he does. This is the five of rods. Rods are actions, plans, forward movement. And this is pointless arguing. And that's what he sees uh, Harry uh, doing right now. Pointless arguing. He doesn't see the value in this fight. That's very interesting. So, uh, but that's not the end of the read. I'm going to do a full uh, six card um, dyadic cross uh, on this to try to flesh out the story but let's go to the other way now what about Harry is Harry he says he doesn't but uh, does Harry have some some strong animosity does he hate does Harry hate William you know what's going on there well, let's do one two or three cards for that Harry hate William three sorry he's got a broken heart I think that's all we need to say. Harry has a broken heart for what's going on. You don't have a broken heart for someone you hate. You have a broken heart for someone who has a place in your heart. So that's what that is there. Now let's go to a... Um, wow, I'm very clumsy with the cards today. Well, that happens a lot, actually. Let's go to a full dyadic cross. That's six cards. So we'll do a full dyadic cross on the situation with William... In Harry, we're not talking about Charles. We're not talking about uh, Camilla. We're not talking about Catherine. We're not talking about Megrin. We're just talking about the brothers, William and Harry. What can the cards, the six cards, tell us about William and Harry right now and maybe in the near future? Six cards. One, two, three, four, five. Six. Now, I don't know about you, but I would hope that, um, you know, these brothers can get this together soon. But uh, William and Harry, let's just see what the cards tell us. Signifier card. Ah, uh, chain to lesser intention. Chain to lesser intention. Now, we start out the question, it's about William. It's not about Harry. We're, we're questioning William here. So this card has to uh, relate to the uh, the the main character of the question, which is William, chained to lesser intention, the devil. Okay, so he's chained to the lesser intention. I'm going to guess of of what the monarchy is trying to accomplish in these relationships. What's the challenge to this? The challenge to this is the Queen of Rods. Rods are actions, plans, forward movement, getting something done. The Queen of Rods, Rods is very significant in that layout of Jack, Queen, King. You know, she's almost at the top. So, And that's really William's position right now. He's not the king, but he's second. He's right there. He's the next one. So the challenge to being chained to those lesser intentions, which I can't think what the lesser intentions would be except as related to the monarchy, okay? And it seems uh, like perhaps the monarchy has been manipulative. Let me make a note of that. Is the monarchy uh, manipulative? Uh, and see if we draw a card on that at the end. I, I hope I remember. If I don't, don't um, quit watching me because I forgot. So William has changed a lesser intention. And the challenge to it is his position in that royal family. What's the base of this whole thing? The base of this whole thing is holding on to your value. These are pentacles. Pentacles are money, but usually they're value. And the four of pentacles, as you can see right here, this person is just holding on to all that value that they have. He's trying to hang on to what he's got until it's him, his time to be in control of that monarchy. Interesting. What's in the past of this for William and Harry? The six of rods. Uh, victory. The past of this is victory. So they were... Um, a victorious team, actually. They were uh, two that, uh, until um, Harry decided to get married, um, were, were successful in their jobs in the monarchy. But that's in the past. In the sky of this reading, the best you can hope for 
is or aim for is the Knight of Pentacles. So this is fighting for your value. And again, the question is about William. So this knight is William fighting for that for that value. Okay, hard to do when you're chained to lesser intentions. Okay, so. That's where we're at right now. We might go full Celtic Cross, we'll see. And then the final outcome for these six cards, this Dyadic Cross, is this Page of Pentacles. Again, we, value is playing a role here. The page in that royal court, you know, you've got the page, uh, the knight, the queen, and the king. That's the order they come in, that's the significance they have, and the page has very little significance. He brings a message to the court. He says, hey, what about this? What about this value? What about this message? He's like a messenger. And the final outcome of this, right now in time is that William, regardless of what he wants to do, this is who he is. He's just a messenger regarding this value. We're gonna have to do four more cards. Let's do a quick shuffle. I don't think more than one shuffle. For how uh, is this, gosh, can I ask, how will this end up for William and Harry? Um, we'll leave it open, but I've got that in my head for some reason. So what's the very signifier of that question about William regarding Harry? What's the, the very signifier of that question? It's about the Two of Cups. It's love. That's beautiful. And it's oath-taking, okay? The Two of Cups, this is a complicated card, actually, to get in this position for these two. Because the Two of Cups is about partnerships. It's Cups are compassion, emotion. This um, signifies for me... A, uh, this uh, caduceus, I think it's called, is uh, signifies for me oath taking. So the love uh, that's ingrained in these two is complicated by the oath that William has taken or will have to take uh, eventually. And what's the environment that that's in? The environment of this in William and Harry is this Ace of Pentacles. I love that the value is running the gamut in this in this deck. Look, this one, two, three uh, cards here, and now four regarding value, and this is the environment that this is in. This great big offer of value, that's what William is looking forward to. That's what he has to judge everything he does by, the value that he has to place on his position. The hopes and the fears then for uh, William, Harry, Ace of Swords, and that would be, and look at that, the king uh, is at the top of this truth, justice, rules, law, in the hopes and fears position is um, that this is what will reign, actually. Truth and justice, along with the rules and the law. But the final outcome, William, Harry, what's going on there? What will go on there? Uh, it's introspection, the Hermit card, Major Arcana. This is number nine in the Fool's Journey along those 21 cards. And so it's right in the middle and it's introspection. It's holding on, it's shining a light on your path, uh, holding on to that staff of, of an action that will help you move forward. And so the likely outcome of this is that William has to be this hermit and just study the situation and move carefully. He cannot um, do anything that his father, his monarch, his king, uh, wants him to do. Um, he can't. And that's where he is in this. Now I was going to ask about uh, manipulation. Should I read all this again for you, by the way? I think probably I should. Uh, what did I just do here? Ace of Swords, Hermit, Knight of Pentacles, Ace of Pentacles. Okay, is this the correct order? Yes, it is. Okay. So, what was uh, William and Harry? Well, William, the question is about William, is chained to lesser intention. That's what's happened in that monarchy. They've just been manipulated, I think. And we don't realize it as the public because we don't know what's going on behind closed doors. Who knows what's going on in your family except you and the people involved, okay? When you walk out into the street, when you go to the grocery store, when you uh, approach the public and, and show your face of what's going on in your family, you know what's going on, but nobody else does. They, knew what you, they know what you represent which may not be exactly what's happening. But uh, so chain to lesser intention is uh, that basis uh, in that family and is challenged by this queen of rods. This is William's, really his position right now. He's not number one, he's number two of plans and actions. And the basis of this whole thing is that royal monarchy 
holding on to their value. The past of this is a success that these brothers had with this Six of Rods, and in the sky of this with this Knight of Pentacles is poor William fighting for that value held back by these restraints. And the likely outcome of the whole thing in this first part of this uh, full Celtic cross with this Page of Pentacles is who William actually is at this point. He's a lowly page suggesting something about that value. And the very signifier of that question about William and Harry is this Ace of Pentacles, wanting it to be a great big offer of value. And it's uh, in the environment of this Two of Cups, the love the brothers really have for each other, and but um, overshadowed by the oath-taking that is inevitably going to happen, and maybe has happened in, in William's heart towards the monarchy. The hopes and the fears of this is that truth, justice, rules, and law reign. Okay, in the end, eventually, that has to be when William comes to the throne. And then the uh, the final outcome of this for right now is that William has to be the hermit, shining a light, being careful, taking careful steps forward. But I want to see about manipulation in that uh, family, in that uh, monarchy, in the roles that these people take. Is there major manipulation that's going on in that monarchy that is complicating what's happening uh, with these brothers right now. Obviously, William knows that he can't do anything that's not sanctioned by his dad. He can't, you know. And I'm sorry, but I feel like Charles is just selfish and um, we can't help what our nature is, you know. And again, remember what you present to the public, what you're seeing these people be in public is likely not close to what's going on behind uh, closed doors, okay? And the people that are manipulating them, the courtiers, the folks who run their lives and who release information to the, to the public and who always have. And once that tangled web of, um, if you wanna say lies, but that tangled web starts so many years ago, how in the world can you begin to untangle it now? So manipulation, just a few cards. Is there significant manipulation happening in that monarchy that's causing this problem? with William and Harry, and the Empress. The monarchy is the Empress. It reigns supreme. What the monarchy um, seems to require is what's gonna happen. And the people who are running the monarchy, who are a little bit the royals, and a lot the people who are guiding the royals, um, including parliament. Uh, the question is, is there manipulation? And the answer so far is, the Empress, the monarchy. The next card for that is the Knight of Rods, actions, plans, forward movement. The Knight of Rods is feeling in battle, feeling outside of the actions. And then the final card I'm gonna draw for this manipulation is right here, things happen, well, maybe we'll draw another one, is uh, things happening at a rapid pace, is that this monarchy, although it seems to us on the outside that it kind of crawls along, these actions that come along towards a monarchy Imagine having to just hold your ground when that um, freight train of publicity is charging at you all the time. And this will be the last card, manipulation, four rods, small, small celebrations towards something bigger. And that's what rods are, their actions, plans, forward movement. And the four rods, many people call it the wedding card. I call it small celebrations. And you see the something larger, I've lost my pointer here. You see the something larger uh, right here, it is the monarchy. So is there manipulation? It's not a clear answer, actually. But what it tells us is that, is, is that the main character here is the institution. It's embattled and it's outside the perimeter of all those plans that are really going on. So the, the leaders in the monarchy just have one uh, rod to balance with all that. It all happens very fast and it's all about getting to the benefit of that larger institution. So, hope that was helpful. Let me know what you think. I don't know, maybe those results were predictable, who knows? But let me know what you'd like me to read about and I'm gonna read about that. Hey, I'm gonna show you the cards now. So this, these are the new Palladini Tarot and David Palladini, um, you know, had just finished art school when someone asked him to do take on a, uh, a commission of doing uh, cards and he did the Aquarian uh, Tarot. Well, uh, 25 years later, uh, once he was an established artist, uh, he came back to Terra and decided to uh, to make this new deck. And so, um, more to his influence. And uh, this is published by U.S. Games. And the, the instruction booklet in this is run-of-the-mill, except 
for the uh, part where uh, they talk about the new Palladini Tarot, where they talk about the artwork, and where the, uh, uh, the artist actually speaks here. I mean, this is an interesting few little pages to read, so I don't know. I like it. But the cards themselves, let me spread them out so you can see them before we use them, are really neat. If you've ever seen the Aquarian Tarot, it's kind of a muted set of colors, and it's a great deck to use. Well, these are just more vibrant and... Um, Really, really a nice deck of cards. I love uh, to use these cards. They just really pop, and it's easy to know what they mean, and uh, they're great. David Palladini, thank you. But I like to do this so that you can get an idea of what all the cards look like, and uh, maybe that'll help you figure out what cards you want to buy, if you want to buy some more cards, or your first cards, or... You know, I used to always wonder, uh, when I was just watching the videos, uh, what the rest of the cards look like, so that's why I do this. New, tarot, new Paladini uh, Tarot. Oh. Coming back tomorrow, I'll be doing it all again, so ciao for now. You really make a big difference, thank you.